Hey, this is Ish, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a countdown or a timer to your videos like what you see on the screen. Let's get started. Premiere Elements doesn't have a time code built in like Premiere Pro, but that doesn't mean you can't add a countdown. I'm going to talk about two options to add a countdown. First, you can screen record a countdown or a timer using a software like Active Presenter. I'll place a link in the description to a timer. I advise checking the copyright use if you plan to use it for commercial work. The second option is to go to Canva. If you aren't familiar with Canva, it's a graphics design editor. I use it to create my thumbnails for pictures, graphics, and stock footage. Right now, you can get a 30-day free trial of the Pro License using my affiliate link. I'll place the link in the description. You don't need the Pro License to get the countdown though. The countdown is free. Yes, you can get a countdown free from Canva, and I'll show you. Just make sure you like, subscribe, and comment on this video since that is free for you to do too. Hey, so I'm in Premiere Elements expert mode. I've already brought this countdown in, but first let me jump into Canva and show you how to get the countdown. So I'm going to open up Canva and then what you're going to do is you're going to go to create a design. I'm going to go to create a design and I'm going to go to presentation. I believe you need an account for Canva to be able to access the timer, but you can get the account for free to be able to use. I'm going to click presentation. A new presentation opens up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to more and then I'm going to select videos. So now I have all the list of videos here. And then what you're going to type in in the search is you're going to type in countdown. A bunch of different countdowns are going to show up. And as you can see, some of them are going to say pro. You can filter it and click for free. And when you click free, this countdown is going to show up. And this is the one that I'm going to use for this tutorial. You want the specific name. It's black and white numbers timer free. If you click info, it says use this video safely in a Canva design for personal or commercial use. You can use this in marketing or social media or even sell merchandise without restrictions. Don't sell, redistribute, or take credit for unaltered videos provided through Canva. You can't trademark designs with stock videos, so be careful using it in logos. Got it. Right now, the limit is 10 minutes. That's the length of the countdown in Canva. If you need something longer, then you may have to go the option of recording a timer and using it. If you want it to be shorter though, what you can do is you can actually go here and instead of downloading the entire 10 minute video, what you can do is you can scroll down and say, for example, you only needed one minute. You can go down and then click done. And now instead of just downloading the whole 10 minute file, you can download the one minute video or even go, you know, all the way down to 30 seconds if you need to to be able to do that. That's the nice thing about this timer is that it gives you all those various lengths um, for what you want to do. But again, if you need something greater, you're gonna have to go out and screen record and don't worry about the color or the background. We'll get to that in a minute. So once you have that, select download, make sure you go to MP4 video, select okay, select download. And then what you'll see right there in the bottom is that the video is downloading and because it is a 10 minute video it does take some time for it to load that's how you're able to get the countdown and let you jump right back into premiere element so what i'm going to do is let me bring in a color mat real quick in case you want to change the color so i'm going to go to and if you aren't familiar with color mats i'll link to a video that shows five different ways that you can use color mat and in this video i'm going to show you how to use it as a background so i'm going to pick red i'm going to drag the timer to video track two and then i'm going to set this color mat underneath it drag it so the length matches all right so the first thing you can do with the timer since it has a black background one of the things you can do and i'm going to show you a couple different ways is you can go to opacity and set the opacity to green so one thing that i noticed with using the screen is that if you keep the video at this size it's fine but when you go in to shrink it because you probably don't want the timer taking up your entire image so when you go in and you go to shrink it Unfortunately, it creates these lines on the side of the video, which doesn't look appealing. And it, it may just be this video or way it's downloaded. Uh, maybe the video that you're trying to use, if you use a different one or your version of Adobe Premiere Elements may not have that in there. So that's why I'm showing you this way. But then I'm also going to show you another way to make sure that you don't have those lines um, in case you get in this issue when using screen. So what you want to do is instead of using screen, let's go back to opacity and we'll set it back to normal. Or instead of using screen, you can also go to lighten. But then even with lighten, I've noticed too that the lines still come up. So go back to normal. And then what you want to do is go to effects and then go to Luma. Take the Luma key and then drag it to the video track. You can adjust the threshold and the cutoff. But with Luma, you'll see that the image, there is no lines 
on the side. It's a perfectly clean image, which is what we all want. So try, depending on your video or your Premiere Elements, if you get those lines, you can go between Luma or Screen. That's why I showed you both options, just in case it's maybe something in the version I'm using with Premiere Elements, or it may just be something going on with the actual file and the way I saved the file in my settings. So at least you know those two options to make sure you're able to get that transparent background. So now let's say you don't want white numbers, right? You say you want black numbers. So now if you want black numbers, what you can do using this same file is go to the effects and instead of going to Luma, go to invert, go to invert. So you're going to take invert and you're going to drag it. So what happens now is instead of getting the white numbers on a red background, you now have black numbers that you can change. And then you can adjust the threshold. When you adjust the threshold to zero, it says if the Luma key is not applied. If you want black numbers on white background, take the video and then just apply invert. You don't need to apply the Luma key. But if you want just black numbers in general, then you can adjust the threshold. But that is what how you would get these nice black numbers. You can delete this. I'm going to delete the Luma key so it's back to normal and it's sitting on top of the red color mat is what you can do is you can go to blend mode, set the opacity to darker color. So when you get the darker color, what happens is you have this transparent text now. So with the color mat below it, you can change it to whatever color that you want for the number. So allowing you to whatever this color mat is, that's the color of the numbers, but then you're going to have that black background on top. So that's one way you can do it. And then again, you can go back to invert. And if you set invert, then it'll take you right back to where I had it. So send everything back to normal. Let me just show you what invert does by itself. I'm going to take invert. So invert will change it to from a black background to white numbers to a white background with black numbers. Then if I change the channel, let me go to red. Now without using the color mat, you're able to have red background. Change the channel again to green. That's another way you can change it if you prefer, if you like that look like blue. That's another way you can change the countdown for your videos. So that's the really cool thing about, you know, Adobe Premiere Elements is it has all those features that you can take this simple countdown and make it look almost any way you want it to look as far as the color of the numbers, black or white, the background transparency with the color mats, you can pick any color code and set the background to what you want to get the exact look that you're looking for to make it unique. And as far as the numbers go, um, even though Premiere Elements doesn't have it built in, it doesn't mean you can't get the look that you want. So another thing that I want to show you is say you don't want to count down. Maybe you're looking for a timer. You want to time what you're doing. So what you want to do, you want to right click. You want to go to clip. You want to go to time stretch. And then what you want to do is you want to select reverse speed and then you're going to select. Okay. And boom. Instead of you having a countdown as it it's going to render the required file because it is long, but instead of you having a countdown, what you're going to have now is you're going to have a timer counting up from zero to 10. So you took that simple free countdown. You have yourself a timer and this can be great for cooking videos. So again, just go back in there. I'm going to go to Luma. I'm going to drop the Luma key in there. Now it's transparent. And then I'm going to drag this to video track three. Then I'm going to go into project assets. I already have a cooking clip. I got this clip from Canva. So what you do, you can take this clip, you can adjust the corners and you can put it right there in the corner of your video in the corner. And in the beginning, there's this little pause. So you can, I'm going to take that little pause out. So it starts right at zero. I'm just going to trim that section off. So if you see right there in the corner, you have the countdown, but with the white background, it can be hard to see. What I would recommend doing, just if you want to make sure you get that easy look, let me just go to color mat. I'm going to drag a color, the color mat back in there. The timer is above it. So then I'm going to shrink the color mat down. I'm going to put the color mat right underneath the timer. So now it's clear. Everyone can see how long it's going to take. And then right there. As the scenes change underneath, you have the timer going at the top. My name is Ish, and that is how you add a countdown or a timer to your videos in Adobe Premiere Elements. If you got value out of this video, let me know down in the comments how you plan to use the timer slash countdown. Make sure you hit the like button. Hey, make sure you hit the subscribe button. My name's Ish, and I challenge you to go out there and have a new experience today. Thanks for watching.